Hi everyone and welcome to And So On. My name is Lisa and today I'm going to be showing you a few of my latest makes as well as some plans that I have coming up and an announcement of a new feature that I'm doing next week. So you might be able to tell from my voice I've been sick the last week or so, uh, well maybe not a full week but close to it and the worst part is I haven't been sleeping. <laughs> And when I don't sleep, I'm not a happy camper. So, so I have a couple of makes to show you. I haven't been sewing a ton because I haven't been well, but I did make two things, both of which I really, really like. A couple weeks ago, I ran into my next door neighbor who I've told you about before. She's a seamstress and she has so many amazing vintage patterns and she was wearing this top and I was like, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. I, I want to make that. Like, Please, do you have that pattern? And it's actually an Ise Miyake pattern for Vogue from the 80s. It's Vogue 1693, and I'll put in a picture so you can see what it looks like. Now, in the picture, I don't know, I probably wouldn't have necessarily have got, oh, wow, that's amazing. Um, maybe a little more in the, um, in the line drawings, but this top is what I ended up with. So here is the top, and it just has the coolest features. Like, I love the curve here, I love the cut. And if you look at the back, it has these ties, which just hold it in just enough to give it some shape. And then um, the shorter hem detail at the back. So I made it from some of that fabric that I showed you from the um, Textile Museum of Canada sale. And yeah, so this was interesting. I mean, I think that the, I think, I don't know if you can really tell here, you can kind of see a little bit of gathering or puckering. Um, I think I didn't do a good job putting on the interfacing, um, the iron on interfacing, and so I think it's separated in there, and so it's not as nice as it could be. But I'll show you the inside. So the facing wraps around here and gets attached. There are mitered corners on the inside, and my inside's not perfect, but what are you going to do? Um, the facing on the armholes is really nice. It's a really nice facing on the armholes. And then I was supposed to do like a modified French hem on here, but <clears throat> I don't remember why I didn't do that, but I, I didn't end up doing that. And then this, these sort of overlap on each other. And yeah, it's just a really, it's got a, a seam down the back. Anyway, I'll put a bunch of pictures in because I did take a ton of pictures. And I just love this pattern. It's so beautiful. I did take a copy from my friend and I'm going to make it again in like a white linen, just a very simple white linen. I saw someone on Instagram make that and I can't remember who it is off the top of my head, but I'll link it below as well. Um, I think it was an Australian sewist and she did a beautiful one in white linen. That was so nice. Now I do have, um, <clears throat> I do have more of this fabric and I was thinking of making either a pair of shorts or a skirt. So I'll show you the two patterns I'm thinking of. The only problem is, having worn this now, I realize that this fabric wrinkles quite easily. And in a top, that's not so bad, but in pants, it can be a bit icky. So let me show you the two patterns I'm thinking of. So one of the patterns is the City Stroll skirt, wrap skirt, from uh, Lee's Link Co. And I have that printed off already, and it's just a very simple wrap skirt. So that could be cute. But given the lines of this specific top that I've made, I was thinking of actually doing a pair of longer shorts, which I don't have. I actually, all my shorts are fairly short. They're all kind of um, definitely like well above the knee. But I just got the new Berta. So this is, I found out now where I can get Berta's in Toronto. So there's 15 bucks a month gone. <laughs> um, so this is the latest Berta. Let me know if you want to flip through of this. Um, I know Saturday Night Stitch also does that. So you probably don't necessarily need me to do the same thing. But here are the shorts. <clears throat> here are the shorts. So you can kind of see they're longer, a little wider. And if you can see from the line drawing, there. They kind of cross over. Can you see that? They have a bit of a crossover, a bit of a wrap. So the other photo here, it's actually in a stripe. But you can see that they're a little bit longer, a little bit wider, and they do have a kind of crossover, which I thought would work. The pants that go with this Ise Miyake top um, also kind of have a wrap crossover. So let me know what you think. I don't know if it's worth it or not. I'm a little worried that they're gonna end up being too crushed and I won't end up wearing them. So yeah, tell me what you think. 
So the other thing I made was my first Vogue 9253, I think it is, and it's that deep V that everyone made apparently last summer before I knew to look for these things. And I did try to make it in a, um, I tried to muslin it in a cotton, like in a, in a blue uh, broadcloth, and it wasn't going very well, and I was fearful that I had cut out too small of a size. And actually, it's so funny because I never, ever cut tissue, but for some reason in this case, I felt really confident, and so I cut the tissue, and then I think it might be too small. So what I did was, I made it in Jersey just to kind of see and it turned out great I'm really really pleased so this is here it is here and this is in a very sort of a medium weight it's not super lightweight because it's actually quite heavy um, like when I when I like pick it up it feels quite heavy um, and I did it in a Jersey <clears throat> this Jersey I got last year so I can count it as part of my stash <laughs> And it's actually, uh, it was, I think it was like $1.50 a meter. So this, this dress probably costs about five bucks total. Um, I used every single bit of the fabric. I have a tie for it that I haven't added yet. I might add it. You can tell me what you think. And while I tell you about the changes I made, I'm going to show you some photos. I took a bunch of photos yesterday. So lots of hacks in this. Number one, clearly I made it in Jersey. Number two, um, and this was an accident. I accidentally cut four fronts instead of two fronts and a back. I was sick. I was tired. I was just having like a cut day. I'm like, I'm just going to cut stuff. I'm just going to cut a bunch of stuff. And as a result, it now has a super low back, but I like that a lot. I actually, it's, it's really comfortable and I don't like a low back to me is sexy, but not scandalous. You know, like it's, you know, you're showing skin, but it's, it's not exactly, you know, anyway, you know what I mean? So the front, um, I debated how low to keep it. And what I did was I made it so that it is a deep V, certainly deeper than pretty much anything else I own, but not, you know, as deep as it could be. And I ended up keeping a little keyhole gap at the bottom, not for any reason, except that I wanted to machine sew it and I couldn't fit this portion underneath my presser foot. <laughs> so I started where I could and ended up with a keyhole. I've decided to call it a detail. Um, and then I added a um, uh, ties across the back because it was falling off my shoulders because of the deep V front and the deep V back. So I've got a little, t a little, you know, ties across the back here. The other thing I did was I added a facing to the front. So you can see here, let's see, there we go. So this is the facing and I did it on both sides. There's actually a little flaw in the fabric there. Good thing that's on the inside and on this side as well. So I did a, um, a facing and all I did was literally take the scraps of fabric I had left, put the pattern for the front on top and just cut around as much as I could to give another layer because I'm not gonna be able to wear a bra with this. Um, I'm not large chested, clearly. So support is not really an issue, but modesty is. And so I wanted to like have another layer so that it wasn't so thin and revealing. And that's worked really well. It's very, very comfortable wearing it like this. Like I don't feel like, I don't feel exposed. I don't feel a need to wear um, an undergarment. Uh, so yeah, so I really, really like it um, adding that facing. I think if I had not added the facing, I would not be so comfortable. Okay, um, this dress has <clears throat> pleats down the front and pleats down the back. So I did the front pleats still on the front skirt. I did not do it on the back. And this also had pleats front and back on the top. And instead I gathered. So I gathered it and just made it fit within the dress. And I think it gives it a little bit more of a relax. I mean, pleats in a light jersey like this doesn't really work. It works fine here in the bottom, but I thought in the top it wouldn't really, really work. So I added that. And did I add anything else? I'm trying to think. Yes, I added an elastic waistband. So after I put it together and tried it on, it felt a little wishy-washy. My husband was like, it's, it could be smaller, it could fit you better. And I was like, eh, when something's like low cut and so I have this, I have this theory when it comes to dressing, you know, for sexy dressing <laughs> is like you have, there's three categories. There's short, there's low cut and there's tight. And I like to just play with one of the three at a time, two to three, maybe, you know, a couple times a year, <laughs> but I don't like all three. So this is low cut clearly in the front and the back. Um, so I didn't want it to be too tight. I wanted it to kind of be flowy and the feature to be the low cut front and back. So, um, but I did feel that it was a little bit too flowy. So I added an elastic waistband and all I did was I added a black double-sided um, fold over elastic. And I literally kept it on the spool and just 
went around stretching it, adding it to the um, seam allowance between the top and the bottom and um, just pulled it taut as it was going around and that pulled it in just enough it's to to give it a bit of um, just a bit of shape at the waist so yeah I'm really pleased with this it's very comfortable uh, and I think I'm going to wear it well I'll wear it a lot but the plan I think is to wear it to my sister-in-law's rehearsal dinner for her wedding so I think in Victoria which is coming up so one thing that I have coming up before I show you what I have coming up in my makes is um, you guys really enjoyed the video that I did with Michelle from Matchpoint Fabric last week. Um, that turned out great and she was so pleased. I've talked to her since then and she was like, your, your viewers are so sweet. Um, lots of people did orders and lots of people just sent me messages saying, I'm not gonna order right now, but go go for it. Um, I'm so you know glad for you. You're gonna have a great business. And it was like, oh, it's so nice. You know, like everyone is so supportive in this community and I know she really, really appreciated it. So if you go back and look at that video, um, you can see, actually I have one of the fabrics here that I got from her. So this is the Tencel. It's 100% Tencel and it's in taupe. So she showed the gray in our video that we did. This is the taupe and I really like it. I just like the, it's so drapey and beautiful and stretchy. Um, I know that like the Tencel is naturally moisture wicking and you can do um, active wear out of it and stuff. But for me, like it's so soft. I think I'm just gonna do another Mandy. I know I'm not original, but the Mandy's are so comfortable for me. So I think I'm just gonna do another Mandy in sort of a mid weight and that way um, I can have something that's light in the summertime that I can just put over when my arms get cold which is pretty much always so um, Michelle has extended the coupon code yay she's extended it another week which is so great so the coupon code is and so on 20 all in capitals and you get 20% off she ships to the state she ships overseas she told me that someone ordered from Malta Oh my gosh, thank you, Malta. <laughs> She's shipped it off to Malta. So it's good until next Friday, which I think is the 22nd. And um, she also just let me know that she's gonna be posting a bunch more dead stock on Saturday and Sunday. So if you wanna hang on to that coupon code and go check it out Saturday and Sunday, uh, I know I will be, so yeah. But this is the this is the taupe of the Tencel. So my next video is going to be an interview with a designer, a local designer. Um, and so her, the name of her company is Simone Rose, and I'm gonna link the website and her Instagram feed below. She lives in my neighborhood, and I found her feed through Instagram. And I just thought it'd be so great to hear about sort of how I talked to Michelle about how she started her business as an entrepreneur in the sustainable fabric industry. I would love to hear how an independent designer got started and all about her business. So I would love for you to help me again with questions that was so helpful helpful last time. So if you have any questions that you would like to know, check out uh, the Simone Rose feed and get back to me and write below, or, or even if you just off the top of your head can think of questions that you would like to hear of someone starting a design business and how she got into that and, and all the ins and outs. I'm hoping that we're going to get to shoot in her studio so I can give you a peek behind the scenes. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. So I should show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my... This is the Style Arc, Style Arc Georgia Peplum that I hacked, so clearly there's no peplum. Um, but this is the one that I did, and I do have a video on it. I can link that above. And the, this is my um, jean skirt that I did with the Stitch Sisters tutorial. And I've just decided to leave it cut off, and I put a line of stitching around here so that it doesn't fray too much. I've decided not to turn up the hem, and it's just so, so super comfy. Um, I love it. Okay, so what am I making next? Well, you guys may have seen on Instagram that Amy Nicole Studio just released her Roxy dress. Roxy Trio, I think she calls it. Yeah, Roxy Trio. Um, so super cute. I'll link it below. It has three tiers, and those tiers can all be separate or they can all be together. So there's so many different ways you can make this dress, wear this dress, um, and essentially it's like a three-tier swingy spaghetti strap dress. So uh, you guys remember this fabric. This is the chiffon that I got at a boutique that was closing a couple months ago. And if you can see, there is a very fine gold thread that runs through it. So it's got a bit of a texture and a bit of a gold. Clearly super, super light. So I got some white batiste from Michelle at Matchpoint Fabric. I got the very last of it. And I'm going to line the Roxy 
um, with that white batiste and I'm going to make this dress and that is going to be the dress for my sister-in-law's wedding that I'm gonna wear um, I have a ton of this so I think I think I definitely have enough and that's what I'm gonna be working on for me and then I'm working on a bunch of stuff for my kids my kids have grown a mile my eldest is 11 and my youngest is 9 and the 11 year old especially has just shot up like crazy but her waist is still teeny so everything is too short on her and you know 11 year olds don't like to be told what to do but it's too short I'm sorry it's too short so the way I'm gonna get around that is I'm going to make them and then I can make them the length that I want them and then I don't worry that they're too short so um, I'm going to make a couple of I've got some fabric here to show you I'm gonna make her um, at least one if not two sets of the city gym short so easy so comfortable I know it's gonna fit um, I also got this really cool elastic at Fabricland. how cool is that look and it was 50% off which I think it always is for members but so I'm going to use one of the like use this as the waistband for one of the pairs of shorts and for my youngest uh, this is actually her waist my youngest um, I'm gonna make a skirt out of this and I think it's super cute so I'm making wedding dresses or dresses for the wedding for Lily Lily requested she wanted blue and gold. <laughs> so I went to Fabric Spark yesterday, and I'll link down below as well. They're having a big sale right now. And actually, I'm gonna have a, um, probably in July, I'm gonna do an interview with Daryl at Fabric Spark as well. But here is the blue. So this is a rifle paper. No, sorry, it's cotton and steel. Sorry. It's cotton and steel, and it's turquoise with gold, which is just so lily. <laughs> Yes, and I'm going to do a Liesl and Co, Liesl and Co or sorry, I guess it's Oliver and S, um, roller skate dress. I think that's what it's called, the roller skate dress. I'll put a picture in. I've made this one before, I have it, um, and I know that it's a really functional piece in that you can dress it up, dress it down, she'll be able to wear it a ton. I'm just gonna line it in a really like simple cotton, and yeah, so isn't that so cute? And you see the moons are at different stages, so there's like full moon, crescent moon, so pretty right and then when I was there I saw <laughs> look at this I don't even know who this is by <clears throat> I'll see if I can find it on the website but uh, exposure exposure these are teeny tiny little flamingos pink flamingos how cute are those and it's a really lovely Jersey really really good quality Jersey so I got a yard or a yard and a half I think I just got a yard of this and Lily wants a romper so I'm gonna do her a romper um, and so she has this cute little romper that's kind of swingy and fun and actually I bought it for my eldest but of course it doesn't fit her anymore it fits the younger the younger one and it has these cute little flutter sleeves so I'm gonna take a pattern from this and I'm going to make it in this fabric. So that will be comfy and cozy for her. And actually we have a new baby coming into our family next month. So if I have enough left over, I might do a little baby outfit. So for Audrey, I got this pretty flowered fabric from Free Spirit. And I'm going to do a dress from this magazine, La Maison Victor, which you've probably seen before. I showed you, I think I showed you the previous one to this, yeah. This is the newest one and they have some really cute dresses i actually have a make or two planned for me but i did a design consultation with audrey yesterday to decide which ones she wanted um and so i'm going to make her this i think it's called the osaka yeah so this is the osaka dress and it's just a really simple crossover dress um, with pockets and of course we'll make sure the neckline is appropriate but they give you really great, simple directions, instructions. I like that a lot. So we're going to do that in this floral. The last but not least, I have this Moda fabric with this really cute gray little little check on it. It's not a check, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like almost like a squared off butterfly shape and it's got a little red dot in the middle. It might even be Christmassy. I don't know, it could have been intended to be Christmas, but. Uh, out of context it certainly isn't and for Audrey for that I'm going to do this little also from the same magazine this little flutter sleeve top rumor top with statement sleeves so I'm gonna do this little top for her which I think will be great for summer um, we'll see the length on the and I might I might scoop down the neck just a tiny bit so those are my plans for my littles and I'm hopefully gonna get those done in the next couple days I'm gonna cut everything today and usually when I cut stuff then I can just go to, through the whole thing 
Um, anyway, that is all for me today. Next video, like I said, will be an interview, hopefully, with the owner of Simone Rose. And then um, I also have plans to do a few more things for myself for this summer. I have an idea for a capsule wardrobe um, based around French style. So let me know if that's something you'd be interested to see. I've been gathering some French um, companies, uh, fashion companies that I really like, that I want to use as inspiration. I've got some color choices. I've got some patterns. I'm going to kind of put it all together and uh, maybe I'll start a planning video on that next week. Okay, that's it. That's all for me. Thanks as always for watching, um, for putting up with my uh, croaky voice. <laughs> and I will see you guys again soon. Bye-bye.